I think he is. Oh, they're trying to run away. They see it. But it's coming. But don't let you fly with me. Just fly or fly away. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to another special episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2, where today we're looking at aviaries and all the different flyers and how their interactions work and not only that them breaking out killing people and dinosaurs and all that jazz we're going to cover it all as well as tours going through the aviaries because i've seen a few comments asking about that as well so here we have the different species you'll notice one avery is a little bit bigger than the others and actually some of the aviaries could probably be two so that one with the biggest avery is is the one that's the most obnoxious i'd say so let's start over here with Tropogonathus, a very easy one to take care of. I think all these enclosures, all these aviaries, oh, look at it there, so pretty. Um, all these aviaries, oh, lovely dynamic camera. Oh, that's gorgeous, yes. He's so happy. Um, oh, and there it is sitting on the pole there. <laughs> all of these uh, Tropogonathus uh, and all the aviaries, I should say, are perfectly fine. They're happy with their enclosures. So this is what you need for a Tropogonathus. All you need is a little bit of forest, water, one fish, and three aviaries, at, uh, you know, to house about four or five of them. You can probably just get away with two, I would say. Very rarely do you need just one aviary uh, for a species, but inside the aviary, you can place uh, decorations, and certain ones, um, these dinosaurs, or those flying reptiles, you should say, uh, are able to rest on them just like when they break out they can do the same with buildings and stuff uh so we've got a white one a yellow one a green one and a white one or do we already have a white one? Oh god that's over there we don't look at that just yet um so as you can see very easy to keep these guys i think most of them don't have too many problems vulnerable short-lived and thirsty is, is the main issue so really not not a bad issue moving on to the next one We'll have a look at Ceradactylus. Uh, I think the batches that you can get with this is two. You can only get two eggs with this guy. Um, not one of the most picky. Um, there's a few species that only require sand. This is being one of them. It, it did feel like when I was making these that there was a very um, sort of, uh, what would you call it? It did seem with these flyers that they needed one thing, uh, or and that was it. So these guys need sand, some need forest, some need... Um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else? Rocks, that's it. One needs rocks. Um, this one needing sand, and literally, there's like a tiny bit of sand over here. So, and that's it. They're good. I think... And they're all resting on the pylons. That's interesting. So they don't like to rest on the floor. And if you, all you have in your aviary is a viewing gallery, they will sit at the viewing gallery, which is quite nice. Because it means that, uh, especially with Jurassic World Evolution 2, a lot of the times when dinosaurs aren't visible, you get a penalty. So if you just have um, the viewing platform in, they'll mainly just sit in it. But as you can see, I've placed in three pylons, and they blubbin, blubbin, they blubbin, love them. <laughs> so we've got a darker skin there. We've got the black one. I like how we always move over to these ones. We're not looking at that yet. We've got an orange one. We've got a yellowy green one and then we've got a very green one. Again, not much to really uh, comment about. They just kind of sit there. They fly about every now and again and eat fish. Very nice. On to the next one, which is Dimorphodon, the one. I think you can get max of three eggs. You can probably get more, actually. I think there's probably like six or seven with these guys. Um, made popular, of course, by Jurassic World, where it tried to get lots of kisses from Chris Pratt before Claire Deering shot it with way too many tranquilizers and definitely killed it. <laughs> Seeing a theme with Claire, she's killed Dimorphodon and she's killed a Barry. She's a murderer, really. I don't know if any other person's actually killed dinosaurs apart from Claire <laughs> in the franchise. So we've got a blue one. we got a yellowy one. They're actually quite big. They've got big T-Rex heads. The iconic T-Rex head. A greeny one and a whitish one. But it's not really too white. I think the skin inside um, the synthesizer or the incubator, the hatchery, uh, looks very white. But if you compare it, it's like, eh kind of okay. Uh, all these flies, apart from one, only have one pattern. Um, the, it's all blank, but one of them has multiple patterns. Or, you know, the switching, put the stripes on or whatever. This uh, Demorphodon being one of the creatures, again, that likes sand. Okay, moving on to the next. We're firing through this. I know, guys. On to Tapijara. I think I was first uh, introduced to this guy 
from Jurassic Park Builder. Oh, who remembers that gem? <laughs> oh, lovely colorings on the red one there. Nice. I like it. Look at it just fly around. Oh, it's so pretty. Right, so this guy uh, needs forest. And again, like I said, mainly I think the requirement for them is just a little bit of forest or a little bit of sand for these guys. Tavijara being one of the creatures that isn't too fussed. Uh, we got the black one there. We got the red one. We got the green one. And we got the yellowy one. Now, is there any genes that these guys have that the other ones might, might not have? Long lived? Threat? Defense? Needy? Okay, so th there's a variety of different ones you can get with them. Again, you can place anything like normal. I don't think you can place restaurants in here. That would be a bit weird if you could. Uh, yeah, I'd be... I'd be a, you, you know what you might be able to? It's just a fact that... Oh, no, wait, hold on. It's showing the Avery is in the way. Okay, I was going to say. Otherwise, um, I guess you could. But anyway, moving on to Gastor de Burgi or whatever it is. This... This pterodactyl is the one that is the hardest to keep. Um, I think even for one, you need a minimum of four aviaries in order to, like, enclose it. But look at it. This is the one that also has two patterns. A blank one and the regular stripey one. And, oh, it looks so gorgeous. Look at it. Oh, my God. I love that pattern on it. Uh, so we, if we have a look, let's see. What does it need? Open space already... We have four in here, I think. I think we have about four. Maybe we have more. But it, uh, let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we have six. Five? Uh, you need four Averys. So for every one, you basically need another Avery. There's probably a little bit of space between them. But these guys are pretty tough to keep happy. So there's another pattern there. We're looking lovely. And there's the red one we just had. So we'll go back to that one. You green, blue. I love the the gradient on the uh, on the frill or the crest or whatever you want to call it. The green one. Uh, oh, oh God, why are we zooming out? Oh, you're in the shadow. That's why. Okay. And then I think I accidentally made a bunch of these guys. Yes, I did. Okay. So moving on to the next one, the only one that's actually had an ailment, the Maridactylus or the Mardactylus. Ooh, a teeth of nightmares. Nightmare creatures. Look at it, but it's cute in its own little way, isn't it? Yes, it's a blue one, and this guy needing uh, water. And that's it. One of the least picky is this guy. So if you have a chance, just make two Averys and you're probably going to be all right. An orange one, a darky green one, and a pale one. Oh, look at the teeth. That looks so good. Again, they just seem to go to the uh, posts or the uh, viewing vent to sort of have a rest. On to the last one to show, I think. The classic Pteranodon. And it's sporting the Jurassic World design. No, we're not getting any Jurassic Park 3 design or Jurassic World. Although we did get the Pteranodons in the first game were the Jurassic Park 3 ones, which is interesting. But this time they decided to go for the the more scary look of the Jurassic World ones. I guess it's all subjective, isn't it? But it does look relatively scary. Uh, Pteranodons being what, the only creature, any, any, oh, yeah, only flying reptile to want rocks. Doesn't want anything else apart from water a little bit. Oh, it needs some more. So every time you add more... Uh, Tranons or any more dinosaurs into an enclosure, um, they do need something else. Oh, we paused it. What? Wait, we got a floating drone. Um, I haven't paused the game. Um, okay, we've just got a dead drone. Sweet. Pause, unpause. Okay, just, well, there's another look at the drone. That's what uh, it ends up doing the feeders and picking up a flyer and taking it out, all that jazz. <laughs> a nice, lovely look at that. We've got a green one, a orange one, a red one, and a yellowish one. I think that's all. Yeah, so if you want the Jurassic World looking Trandon, you probably need to um, do the Chaos Theory mode, I'm assuming. Oh, didn't want to go there. Oh, okay. And there you have it. That is all of the Pteranodons. But let's showcase what you can do with them. The enclosures are quite easy. Um, but unlike the Lagoon creatures, which have a variety of different sized um, or like flying reptiles, these guys, 
they they all seem to be the same size, which is a bit of a shame. And hopefully in future with new DLCs, they'll add Quetzalcoatlus or maybe some smaller flyers like Ramphorhynchus. So we can just have some diversity because we had Mosasaur and then Alphamosaur. So very small and large differences. However, these flyers are able to interact with the outside world, unlike the lagoon creatures are, by breaking out of said enclosures. So, but also one thing you can do is work with them a little bit more. So if we go into, um, we'll not drive, we'll ride a tour. Here we are. Let's cycle through different cameras so we can be outside and look at them on a tour. We're in, oh, look, you're very happy, aren't you? Wow. You could be picked off by them any second. So we need to, I think everything's been released in here, has it? So we've got multiple species, which apparently are very happy with each other. They shouldn't be. Because uh, they will break out, and they will switch that in a second. So we've got a bunch of different dinosaurs that I know they can interact with. Uh, or at least some that I'm hoping they can, some I know they can. Homalocephale, homalocephale, being one of the dinosaurs that I know they can interact with. Now, if it can interact with the homalocephale, I'm assuming it would be able to interact with the compi, right? It's just going to pick it up and eat it. Of course, we've got humans walking about. I've actually had to make somewhat of a working park, so when they do break out, we can capture some looks there. And also in here, I'm thinking at a push. Maybe the Archaeonothomima slash Struthiomima sort of hybrid. Um, we've also got raptors here. I think raptor shares a unique animation only with pteranodons. And we also have a T-Rex. Because it would be really cool to see a T-Rex just sort of numb on one as it flies by. Don't know whether that's actually in the game. But without further ado, let's take a look and turn on enclosures with a breakout. Yeah, that one. Oh, yeah, there you go. You can see the gate open to let the tour vehicle in. It does open for a fairly long time before the tour vehicle goes through. Um, so they could definitely escape, but they're not doing it right now. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. We, you hear that? This Tyrandon is flying around. This uh, Tropicanathus is flying around into the sides of the Avery, trying to break out. And bam, there it is again. <laughs> it's obviously got an undiagnosed ailment now, probably a headache uh, from battering against the Avery. Uh, I don't know if there's a way to check if the Avery's damaged. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> kind of amazing that they would be able to even break out, right? Because uh, they shouldn't. Because the, the momentum that they would build for glass or plastic um, that is this strong... Bam! <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they would be able to break out. So we're going to see a breakout uh, in due time. And maybe we'll all see uh, Tyrannons attacking each other. Now onto the Tappies. Yeah, the Tappies also not happy. We've got a lot of uh, flyers with problems. A lot of headaches happening over here. But that's to be expected. <laughs> what we'll do is we'll have a look on the Jeeps and see. Yeah, okay. It's showing that the Avery is quite damaged. Okay, that's good. That's handy to know. Oh, we got a breakout. We got a breakout. I didn't see it happen. But there we go. Tropicanathus. I knew it would be one of you. Oh, it's hunting down somebody. Oh, let's get a good shot of this. It's a bit of a shame. Uh, that it's outside of the uh, the place I can delete trees, so we can't. We're gonna we're gonna be in shadow here. Oh, but it's an ACU member, and oh, they get take. Oh, we're getting are oh, they getting flown away? Oh, they are. They're getting picked up, and oh, they <laughs> well, apparently they died there. That's that's a bit of a shame, uh, and I think everyone else is now just flying up. Oh yes. We've got a lot of kills coming now. I'm trying on just landing on the floor there. Oh, very good. Very good. Won't let you. Oh, you're going to sit on the top? <gasps> like you conquered it. Oh, that would have been cool. Oh, but it's going over to the other dinosaurs. Ooh. I, so there must... Oh, you're going to sit on the railing. Oh, you kind of... Oh. Oh, you're sitting on midair. Lovely. I think we are... Oh, we got a pecky. Demorphodon attacking a person there. Oh, it'd be so cool if they attack the monorail. Oh, I think it's going to pick on somebody. Who's it going to attack? Oh, it picked the victim. Yes. Wee. Fly. And then drop. <laughs> they always do the leg splits. Oh, it's interesting. Look at it go. It's off on an adventure. I think he is. Oh, they're trying to run away. They see it. But it's coming. But you fly with me. Just fly or oh, fly away. <laughs> oh, great. All right, Pterodactylus, do you want to keep on attacking people? Oh, I think you do. Oh, no, you don't. Or, or do you want to attack these people? Oh, what do you want to go? Oh, he's going again. He's just trying to help you get somewhere faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 
<laughs> Yo, he looked down at it like, oh, I dropped me cake. Oh, you are just loving light. You are loving attacking all of these people, aren't you? It wants to give you kisses. Nah. <laughs> oh, here we go. The Morvedon attacks. Yum, yum. Oh, it punched it. Wow, she gave it a she gave it a kind of a bit of a wallop, but uh, apparently it wasn't enough. He's chosen that dude in the green. I thought so. <laughs> Whoopee! And yum! Oh, they do. They 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 give like a hook and then they get bitten and die. Oh, we're gonna see Tabijara attack. I think here. Oh yes! Oh, that was a different animation, that one. There was no punch like right hook of the Demorphodon. So we got three different attacks, I think. We've got the Demorphodon where it gets punched and then kills it. We've got the uh, Tropogonathus, which is probably the same as Tranon where it picks it up. And then we've got this guy's, which is like a good few pecks. All right, there's only one thing for it. Release more of the buggers, yes! It feels okay for an Avery limit. However... It, they're overcrowded like crazy. No, don't. No! Oh, did it just kill it? It did. The Demorphodon just whap. <laughs> okay, then. Never mind. I don't have to be worried about you. This looks to be the Archeonothamimus takedown. Oh, yep, yep. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. That was so cool. It sort of missed it, fell over it. No, die. <laughs> Oh, God, are we going to get another one of the... Oh, he's going to go for a malocephaly now? Oh, it does! Oh, bless it, no! Ah! <laughs> it's dumb straight on the neck. This Tyrannodon is on a rampage. Oh, another death over... Oh, God, the meat chunk is uh, miles away, apparently. Oh, no, take down into... Oh, there it is, another shot of the malocephaly. No! Yum! <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Oh, the Tropogonathus went for one there. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, lovely. I guess it's because they share the same animation as Pteranodon. Oh, is he going to go for another one? You're going to go kill another one? Oh, yes. Take down. Dab, dab, dab. Right, okay. We, I think we've seen everything except for the um, animation. But, oh, he's going for... Oh, he's... Oh, and he took out the sheep as well. <laughs> so much so, he destroyed the track there. Two of vehicle destroyed. Uh, so all we need to see, I think, is the raptor animation now. Oh, 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 I think we're going to get something. The, the raptor's running around like it's going to attack something. Ooh, I don't know. I th yeah, I th they've got to be right. They've got to be working together. Oh, it's like they do want to do it. They're kind of starting it. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, no, there's definitely an animation here. 100%. But the raptor just keeps on moving. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it goes. Oh, Pteranodon taken out by the raptor. Oh, it took a while to get there. But, oh, that was sweet. Oh, and the raptor broke the fence. Oh, well, that's to be expected. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, did he die? Oh, they just fought each other. Neither of them died. Oh, oh, this one lost health, though. Quite a bit. Oh, I didn't realize they could do the same takedown on a goat. Oh, Jesus. Well, there you go. A goat can be killed by them. All right. I think we have it again. We've got the animation. They just need to line it up. Can they do it? Oh, maybe not. I don't know. It seems like it's really hard for them to do it. Aha. Here we go. Okay. Yes. If only there was a way to slow it down. Oh, look at that. The raptor jumps at it. And, oh. <laughs> that is so cool. I love that. I love you. Right, okay, let's see if we can get one more. Guys, go take down. Here we go. Wow, roly poly and bite, bite. So two pecks that time. So it is a, it is a slightly different animation. And there's the raptor who's kind of glitched out. He was attacked by a on killed it. And now he doesn't move. He just stays there. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we saw, I think, every animation that they have to do. There might be a couple more with maybe a large carnivore or something like that. But it, it's really hard to get going because, Jesus, I've been here for two hours and I finally got everything I needed. But anyway, guys. Oh, oh, it looks like the Tyrandon over here tried or, or maybe tried to get the animation going. But that raptor is, uh, is glitched out so much so that he's slowly dying. <laughs> <laughs> so there's still some bugs that need to be fixed. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.